kids, we're gonna read another Chester book. I love Chester. This book is called Chester Figures It Out. Zzz. What is that noise? Mimi wondered. She had lived in the library a long time, but she had never heard a sound quite like it. Mimi followed the noise to the children's section. There was her friend Chester. His head was tilted back. His mouth was open. He was snoring. Chester, Mimi whispered. Chester sleepily opened his eyes. Oh, hi, Mimi, said Chester, and he yawned a big yawn. Why are you so tired? asked Mimi. I just got a new puppy, answered Chester, and the puppy barks all night long. Why don't you train the puppy to sleep at night? asked Mimi. I don't know how, answered Chester. Well, you could do some research, Mimi told him. Hmm, that's silly, a kitty cat that has a pet, for a new puppy for a pet. <laughs> What's research? asked Chester. Research is looking for information, said Mimi. Research can help you learn something or answer a question. Oh, I didn't know that, said Chester. Let's start by looking for a book about puppies, said Mimi. She led him to a table. These computers are electronic catalogs, she said. Cat catalogs, said Chester. I like that. Mimi laughed. The catalog lists all the books and other materials that are in the library. All of them? asked Chester. Yes, said Mimi. Every single book, magazine, and DVD. Lots more, too. Wow, said Chester. Type in the words puppy training, said Mimi. Then press enter. Chester did, and up popped a list of books. Why are there numbers in front of the books? asked Chester. The numbers are from the Dewey Decimal System, explained Mimi. Do we what? asked Chester. The Dewey Decimal System, said Mimi. It's a way of organizing books. Every book gets a number and letters. Like an address? asked Chester. That's right, laughed Mimi. If you know the book's number, then you can find out where it lives in the library. Mimi explained that fiction books are shelved in ABC order using the author's last name. Nonfiction books are put together on shelves with other books about the same subject. Here's a perfect book for you, Chester, said Mimi, and she pointed to the computer screen. One of the books was called How to Train Your New Puppy by Smarty Cat. The number before the book was J636Cat. The J tells us it's a children's book, explained Mimi. J stands for juvenile. The 636 tells us that it is a book about pets. All pet books will have a number in the 630s. It's the same way in my library. What about dinosaur books? asked Chester. I like dinosaurs. Dinosaur books will have a number in the 560s, said Mimi. Every subject has its own group of numbers. Now, let's find your book, said Mimi. Chester followed Mimi to a row of shelves. One of the shelves was labeled 600 to 700. In no time at all, they found Chester's book. Mimi and Chester opened the book. One of the chapters was called Getting Your Puppy to Sleep. Don't give your puppy food or water right before bedtime, Chester read. If you do, then he'll bark to go outside. Chester nodded to himself. That sure makes sense, he said, but I want to learn more. Mimi told Chester that they could do more research using the internet. Follow me, said Mimi. Mimi went to a different computer. Chester sat down in front of it. The internet is like a giant library, she told him. You can search it for information about almost anything. Again, Chester typed the words, puppy training. He saw a long list of websites and articles about puppies. 
One of the websites was called Kids Pet Gazette. Chester clicked on the title. There was lots of information about training new puppies. Play with your puppy before bedtime. Then he will be tired, read Chester. Well, that's another good idea, he said, but I still want to learn more. He clicked on a link that said sleeping problems. Mimi looked over his shoulder and read, don't let your puppy take too many naps. If he does, he won't sleep at night. That makes sense, said Chester, but can I find out even more? Well, I'm sure the librarian can help, said Mimi. Chester and Mimi went to the librarian's desk. My friend Chester wants to learn how to help his puppy sleep at night, Mimi told the librarian. Let's check the reference section, said the librarian. The reference section has books like dictionaries and encyclopedias, Mimi explained. The librarian showed Chester a book called The Pet Encyclopedia. Chester found a section in the book that was all about puppies. Sometimes a puppy gets lonely, he read. He'll sleep better if he's close to you. Did you know that? asked Mimi. No, I didn't know that, said Chester, but now I know a lot. I figured out how to get my puppy to sleep at night, he grinned. Research is great. It is, said Mimi, and maybe now you won't be so tired. Chester didn't answer. He was fast asleep. Things to remember. How to do research in the library. First, figure out what your question is. Two, check the catalog for books on your subject. Three, you can find materials using the Dewey Decimal System. Four, search the internet for websites and articles about the subject. Five, you can look in an encyclopedia for more information. Six, you can always ask the librarian. And seven, just keep asking questions. All right. That's our story for this week.